Hello, in this video you're going to learn how to set up your folders in Google Drive. Google Drive is like the hard drive on a computer, but it's web-based, so any computer that you log into Google with, you can access your devices. First, you need to type in or open up Google Drive. Once you've logged into a Chromebook, you will not have to sign in to Google anymore. But some of you might be logging into Google at home. So let's take a look at Google at home. Up here in the upper right hand corner of your screen, it has a spot for you to sign in. I've already signed in, so I don't have to do this again. But it would give you an option. You can also see on this up, upper corner of your screen little windows. Those are called the Google Apps. If you click on it, it opens up and gives you a lot of options that you will have available in your Chromebooks already in the bottom left hand corner. Let's say you didn't see the Google Apps and you just are trying to find your Google Drive. Very easy. Type in Google Drive. Now remember I said the Google Drive is where it's an online folder. So you're going to click the Google Drive link. Again, this is giving you a nice information. It's asking, saying that this is where you're going to have your files. Say go to Drive. At this point, it should ask you if you would need to log in. Like I said, I already have logged in to Google or to Chrome, and so I already have access to all of my folders. Folders help you stay organized. So once you're into Google Drive, you're going to click the New button. Once you click New, you're going to click on Folder, because we need a folder for Social Studies. So you're going to start typing in Social Studies and you can even put the school year 2015 to 2016. Now you have a folder that you can save all your social studies documents into. The next year you can have another folder but you will not lose this folder as long as you give it a new year name. Okay what to do once you have that. Well, if you remember back here, the learning log, the artifacts, where I said you could save, get access to it. Well, there's two ways of getting access to that scan folder right now. Option one is to click on this link right here in your, that page that says artifact. I've already linked it to the folder that I created that has everybody's artifact in it. Which is going to take a while because it is a large file. Now remember, this folder, the student scans, will be deleted with the completion of the artifact. So you do need to go in and save it to your drive. I'm going to use Cameron's artifact. Click on it, it'll open it up. Once you open that up, you're going to download it. Now this is a little bit different for me than it will be for you guys on a Chromebooks. On the Chromebooks, follow the steps that I showed you already on how to download it. But you still download it, but when it gives, asks you where do you want to save it, you're going to say, you're going to choose your social studies folder. Do not leave it in the section that says Downloads. And then of course, OK. How can you check and make sure that you've scanned and you have it in the right spot? You can open up the folder that says Social Studies and it should be there. Now, let's say I forgot to save it to a folder. This is what you've seen in an earlier presentation about the blog entry I made the copy of myself. You can click on it, two fingers, one holds the mouse down, 
The other drags it and drops it into the folder. Now I can look in my folder and there is my file. I know this is a quick and dirty way of learning how to one, make a folder in Google Drive and two, how to organize information into that folder. If you have questions, do not be afraid to ask a peer and or the teacher.